Hey there! In today's video, we'll be diving into the fascinating history of the Apple iPod. The iPod revolutionized the way we listen to music and paved the way for portable music players. So, let's jump right in. In 2001, Steve Jobs introduced the world to the first iPod. The iPod was a revolutionary device as it allowed users to store thousands of songs in one small, portable device. The first iPod had a 5 GB hard drive and a unique scroll wheel that made it easy to navigate through your music library. Over the years, Apple continued to release new and improved versions of the iPod. The iPod Mini was released in 2004, and it was smaller and more colorful than the original. Then, in 2005, the iPod Shuffle was introduced, which was even smaller and more affordable. The iPod Nano followed in 2005, which was sleeker and had a larger screen. In 2007, Apple released the first iPhone, which had all the features of an iPod, but also had the ability to make phone calls, send text messages, and browse the Internet. This marked the beginning of the end for the standalone iPod. Although the iPhone replaced the need for a standalone iPod, the iPod's legacy lives on. It paved the way for portable music players and changed the way we consume music. The iPod's iconic design, with its click wheel and white earbuds, is still recognized and revered by many. In addition to its impact on the tech industry and popular culture, the iPod's legacy has also had an impact on design and user experience. The click wheel and minimalist design of the iPod set a new standard for user interfaces, with simplicity and ease of use becoming a top priority in the design of new devices. The iPod's impact can also be seen in the development of the iTunes Store, which revolutionized the way we purchase and consume music. With the ability to download music directly to your iPod, the iTunes Store made it easy for users to discover new music and expand their music libraries. Furthermore, the iPod's impact on the music industry has been profound. The ability to store and play thousands of songs on one device has had a lasting impact on the way we consume and share music. The rise of streaming services such as Spotify and Apple Music can be traced back to the iPod's influence on the way we listen to music. Even though the standalone iPod may no longer be as popular as it once was, the design and user experience principles that it introduced continue to shape the tech industry today. Apple's commitment to simplicity, ease of use, and minimalist design is still a cornerstone of its product philosophy, and the iPod played a significant role in shaping that philosophy. The iPhone's introduction changed the game for Apple and the tech industry as a whole. It was an instant success, and soon became one of the most popular smartphones on the market. With its sleek design, touchscreen interface, and advanced features, the iPhone quickly surpassed the iPod in popularity and functionality. As more and more people began using their smartphones as their primary music player, the demand for the iPod began to decline. Apple continued to release new versions of the iPod, including the iPod Touch, which had similar functionality to the iPhone but without cellular capabilities, but sales continued to decline. In 2017, Apple officially announced that it would be discontinuing the iPod Shuffle and iPod Nano, leaving only the iPod Touch as the last remaining model. While the iPod Touch still has a loyal fan base, it's clear that the iPod's heyday has come to an end. Despite this, the iPod's impact on the tech industry and popular culture cannot be denied. Its introduction paved the way for portable music players and changed the way we listen to music. The iconic white earbuds and click wheel design are still recognized around the world, and the iPod remains an important part of Apple's history. The iPod's impact on popular culture is also undeniable. In the early 2000s, the iPod became a cultural phenomenon. With the iconic white earbuds and sleek design becoming a symbol of the digital age. It wasn't just a music player, it was a fashion accessory and a status symbol. The iPod also had a significant impact on the music industry. With the ability to store thousands of songs, the iPod gave music lovers the ability to curate their own personalized playlists and take their entire music library with them wherever they went. This changed the way we consume and interact with music, and had a profound impact on the music industry as a whole. Furthermore, 
the iPod's success paved the way for other portable music players, such as the Zune, Creative Zen, and Sony Walkman. These devices offered similar functionality to the iPod, but never quite achieved the same level of success. In many ways, the iPod's impact on the tech industry and popular culture is still being felt today. Its legacy can be seen in the design of modern smartphones, which often feature touchscreens and minimalist designs. The idea of having all of your music, photos, and other media in one place has become the norm, and it all started with the iPod. In conclusion, the iPod's impact on the tech industry, popular culture, design, and music consumption has been significant and lasting. Its legacy lives on, not only in the products that followed it but also in the way we interact with technology and consume media. The iPod will always be remembered as a groundbreaking device that changed the world of music and technology forever. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more exciting videos like this one.